So to add or to connect through SSH on SiteGround, what you do is um, you go to the website that you want to connect to, go down to devs, go to SSH keys manager. And once you're here, you're going to generate a new key. The password, I haven't seen the case where I need to use the password, but I would save it just in case. So as you can see, I have a few test ones. You can generate the password. Uh, again, I recommend saving it. So save it somewhere and create. So once that has been created, you you go to the vertical ellipses here. You go to private key, copy the key. And I recommend using the text editor because um, at least for me, Visual Studio Code, it changed the format of the key, so the key did not work, and then I was left wondering why it was not working, when I was following all the steps properly. So go ahead and save the key. Uh, I already have one saved, but usually the default name, it would be ID underscore RSI, but usually I name it the whatever the name of the company is. And I already have one created with the name. So I'll leave it as that. So now what you do is you go to your terminal. You go ahead to the key that you just created. Go ahead and click on copy. And now in your terminal, you are going to ssh-i, paste the address of the key. Uh, I don't know why it says .rtf in there, but I'll remove that as it's not needed. Then we go back to SiteGround to copy the SSH credentials. So as you know, you first type in the username, then the host name, and then the port. And now it should be connected to your website through SSH. Oops. That, um, there we go. That is the proper website. And as you can see, the password was not required at any point. But again, I would save it just in case you do need it in the future.